Here we are folks. Welcome back to my YouTube video series. We're at Gwinnett County Bicentennial Plaza here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Gwinnett County just three years ago celebrated their 200th birthday. So I guess it would be 221 now. Like 203. So brought you up here to show you this little plaza and to do something else for you. So, first of all, let's walk around this way. I don't have the stabilizer on my camera, sorry for the um, poor quality. We are going to briefly look at this little Bicentennial Plaza right around here. Then I'm going to show you something else I got for you. So, let me jump on my bicycle right here. There we go. Before we start, usually on my bicycle, I'll put my generic GoPro right here on the GoPro mount or the sports camera mount. Record video that way when I'm riding. But, of course, today I didn't bring the right camera. So here's a couple of information posts here, riding the track around, there's another one, park, nice park bench, nice house right there, there's more tables, house right there is now a lawyer's office, nice little area right here, nice brick wall, little center circle here, I wish there was a flagpole in the center, but there's not, coming around this way, more tables on this side. Here we go. There's an old church right here, right downtown Lawrenceville. Chimes go off every 30 minutes. There we go, circling around. It's old Sosby's hardware store. I think it's been here since the 50s or late 40s, I'm not quite sure. But let's circle around this way. Let's go on the inside. Come, come over here and park this bicycle. One of these bushes right here. Let me get off this thing. Sorry about the bumping. Okay, here's my bicycle. Got the Diamondback Trace. I don't ride it as much as I need to, but when it's there and I want to ride, it's always been faithful to me. Okay, second reason for this video. There's my small travel tripod I use. Bicycle repair kit from uh, there we go. Long mate tools. Very nice bicycle repair kit. You can see how I have it mounted. It's got one strap on the bottom, one strap right here, and one strap up here holding it on. So, pretty sturdy. I got no problem with that at all. None at all. Okay, right here. Let's see, where's the zipper? Here we go. Go down this way. Circle around. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, I've got my phone right here. And it is adjustable to the size of your phone. So there's my Samsung A20. About the same size as the iPhone. Got a toolkit here. So, I'm gonna pull all these atoms out of this toolkit, set up the tripod. I'm gonna check all these things out together. I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we go, folks. I got the camera pointed up by the the case itself that mounts on towards the frame and the handlebars. Looks pretty good up there, doesn't it? Now this one over there somewhere, that one, I've had for a while, and I have no issues with that one either. So, I'm going to keep my phone or my, um, my wallet and um, 
possibly the camera in this one and the tools in this one. Maybe keep a couple extra little things in there that I will need for protection. Anyway, what do we have in this bag? We have these reflectors. Can't pick them up. Let's see here. We have one, two. We've got four different color reflectors. These are about, I don't know, two and a half inches long each. We've got some orange ones or red ones. We have some yellow ones. We have some white ones. And we have some green ones. Now there's 12 pieces in a pack. And I'm going to open up one of these right here. And show you right here. Now if you see this little place right here, that's where it just slips onto the to the um, spoke. I'm going to show you that real quick while talking about it. So I'm just going to come over here and slip one of these on and show you how easy it is. So here's the white one. Just going to just put it on this one. Oops. Now that's, it doesn't move, it stays firmly in place. So, I'm going to come back and put the rest of those on. I'm just showing you how easy it is for it to attach. So, we'll come back to these, come back to all these. Okay, we have... Oops, let me go back up to here. We have a silica pack. Now I save these and I put them in different things like when I'm storing my cameras, I keep these in the camera bag. About every month or so, if I remember, I'll take them out, pop them in a microwave, try them out, reuse them. Yep, so I save the silica packs myself. Most people throw them away. Oh, I also keep a bunch of these in my gun case. We have, let's see here, oh, the instru instruction manual. There we go. I want to open this up and briefly look at it. I'm just going to show it to you. It has all the necessary things in it. Anyway, pretty self-explanatory. We have some patches for your inner tube if you get a puncture. These are sticky back, so those are good to have. We have this baggie. I've already opened it and looked at it. We're going to do it together again. We have some more patches. Whoops. My bag's blown away. Let me go get it before it gets too far. I'll be right back. Went about 25 feet. Went and got a hold of it. Okay, like I said, we got these patches also. So we got three of these. We have this Ziploc bag right here. What's in here? Somebody's got the horn blown. We have some. What in the world? Ultraviolet pouch. Now I guess that's the seat cover. Huh. Or it's a cover for your tool kit. That's what it is. It's a cover for your tool kit. Huh. Okay. We'll put this down right here. We have in here, we have some a couple of needles and some couple of valves so if you need to change your valve over what let me get this there we go let me take them out of this baggie 
kind of hard to see. Okay, we have this needle valve. We have these these valves right here for your tube itself. And we have a couple of whoops, can't turn them sideways, I'll drop them out of my hand. So we got a couple of these, different style of valve. And we have two nuts to go with it. So, okay. We have we have this, which is probably the star of the kit, one of the two stars of the kit. We have a pump. There we go. Very small pump. You can see the size of it. There we go. Not much stroke on that one. Put you on pause just a second. There we go. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of pumps to pump up the tire of that. But, in an emergency, you'll be glad you have it. And this just Velcros to your column of your bike. We'll come back and I'll show you how I put that on. This just snaps right on in. There we go. We have... We have right here, this is the tool for taking the tire off your bicycle. I know this open, there we go. It opens up. So you have two of these. We have a little rasp for putting the patch on your inner tube. And I'm just going to go ahead and take these, these three, and put them in there right now. There we go. Whoops, dropped one of those. Anyway, that's for taking your tire off of the rim. And this is the other star of the kit. This big toolkit. Somebody's behind me talking, so if you hear them, I apologize. But okay, we have three sockets right here. What size are they? Eight, nine, and ten millimeter. And they will fit on this right here. We have a Phillips head and a flat screwdriver. And we have a three piece Allen head set. Should fit most anything on your bicycle. And we have this multi tool right here. Say, so, um, let's see here. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and a 14 gauge right here. I think this might be for your spokes. Tighten up your spokes. Anyway, there we go. Pretty nice set to have right there. I'm not going to put it back in this bag. So, let me mount the bicycle pump. We'll put the reflectors on, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we go. I've got every other spoke. I have a reflector on the front also. Red and white on the front, and green and yellow on the back. Right here is the air pump. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to stay there. 
because it did come back here on the mounting bracket where you could put it on these two little pegs right here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. I might put it back here. I might put it up here. I don't know. I didn't put it on the front. But anyway, it's not going to stay there. It might stay there. I don't know. We'll see. I have the UV protector on the case itself. Now I couldn't decide if this was supposed to go on the case or on the seat, but it didn't fit on my seat. So, I don't know. I might, might even be able to put it on your head. So, anyway, I'm just going to stuff it in here. Got your bike emergency kit. Like I said before, my phone is in there. So that should be good. There's my speedometer and my mileage right there. So, let me show you something else over here. Got another park right over there. So I'm gonna pause you a little bit. We're going right over there. I'm gonna take you around, show you the track. Be right back with you. Here's a little park called the Lawrenceville Lawn. There we go. They have a lot of outdoor concerts here. So let's go check this out. Here we go. Some Christmas decorations. One of the sidewalks to get in. There's the driveway to get in. We have a parking lot over here. Let's drive around this thing right here. Here is volleyball court. Open field right here. Kids playground. Doing a little bit of work over there. Here's where they have the concerts. So, let's go around this way. There we go. And we're going to park the bike right here. Go check this thing out. So here's the... There's that big church. Got some tables over here. The main entrance is right there. Come around this way. Come up here. Here's the stage. Now there's another stage behind it, about a quarter of the size. And there's bathrooms over there, bathrooms over there. So. I've seen a lot of concerts here. For a while there I was recording them. Put them on my channel, so my other channel, which is Carl's Variety Channel. Anyway, really nice little area to have a park. Every time I come up here, I'll show you, well, let me see if I can zoom in and get them. Just on the other side of this wall, like through this walkway. On every walkway, there's a bunch of rosemary bushes. And they just trimmed them back not long ago. But those rosemary bushes are about three feet tall and about four feet across, and there's probably 50 or 75 of them. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy seeing this little piece of where I live. 
if I'm correct, this is the oldest county seat in the state of Georgia. Anyway, nice review of the long mate bicycle emergency repair kit. And I do like that carry bag, carry all, whatever you want to call it. I like it a lot. Perfect size. Great size. Anyway, my name is Carl. I do appreciate you watching. Here's my bicycle again. A diamond back in the shade. There we go. Appreciate you watching.